I guess today's the day. Even though, what is going on? It's lighting. Well, I guess, okay. We'll get to that. Let me figure out how to get this thing high enough. Is that better? I feel like my head's still chopped off. I don't want to lean down the whole time. I don't want to lean back either. I gotta be up for you. Tiny person. Bad idea. Oh yeah, that's it right there. Okay, look at these eyes. That's how I, this is how I look in the morning, by the way. Anyways, apparently people have been asking for this. Um, Kelly for sure has been asking for this for a while. And I've been putting it off because, I don't know. So anyways, welcome to a day in the life with me as a, as a stay at home dad. Sorry, I'm, I'm, she sees it. First test, we feeling it today? Okay. So welcome to the life of a stay at home dad, even though I'm not really, I am a stay at home dad, but I do more than just that. So anyways, I expect this to be a fairly typical day. Today is Wednesday, which doesn't mean anything, but I expect it to be a normal day. At least it started out as a normal day. The girl slept in until, I mean, she had a interesting night of sleep, but she finally got up at like 6.30ish. Kel went up and fed her, brought her down to me. We hung out in the bed for a few minutes. Now it's a little after, she's spitting at me. Now it's a little after seven and we're doing our second breakfast, which is also my coffee time. We got her wake up at 6.30, puts her first nap probably around 8.30 to nine. Um, and then we'll get the nap, I'll get ready, and then we're going to the gym at 10.30. So there's the morning. Section it all out, and it's a breeze. This is the time where after I feed her, I give her some snacks, which gives me time to drink my coffee, relax for a few minutes, enjoy my morning. I've seen a lot of TikTok people saying that they, they never want to have kids because they want a quiet morning, and I get it. It's not always a quiet morning, but I do get to enjoy my coffee in peace most days, even if I'm by her, with her by myself. So yeah, that's the morning. Pretty simple. Wake up, give her breakfast, drink some coffee, play around for a couple hours. If I can try to get a little bit of work done while we're playing around in the morning, I do, but I'm not, I don't stress myself out about it. There's time later in the day. So anyways, welcome aboard. Hope you enjoy the ride. I want to say it's not going to be very interesting, but it may be. It may be. So, we'll see. at the camera. 7.30, 7.45, we ate, we snacked. She let me drink some of my coffee. And then in the morning she's active. She's like, no, 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 I don't want to sit here forever. Let's go. So, we're going, right? Hello. Um, yeah, exactly. So, typically the second stop of the day is uh, is in the jumper, the Johnny jumper. Hey, 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 hey. She can move around, jump around. Let me put some music on, some Rafi radio or some Disney Channel radio. And just hang out. This is where I'll finish my cup of coffee, typically. And uh, maybe maybe get some work done, answer a couple emails, respond to some DMs or comments on work page, pack some uh, giveaway packages. We'll see. We'll see if she lets me. That's what trying to get a little work done with her looks like most of the time. I was just answering DMs and replying to comments. Yeah. Say hello. Say hello, camera. How's it going? These would be awesome, but I can't wear these right now. Those look absolutely see-through. I just started my period. This is my vlog. We don't want to hear about periods That's in my vlog. I can't wear 
I guess I shouldn't be doing this right now since she's talking. I'm not talking. This is she's just not talking. She's just unboxing. I'm almost done. Okay, so we got the girl down for a nap. Kelly did. Kelly got him, got him down. Well, I washed, I guess. And now this is the time where we get ready for the gym, or I get ready for the gym. Kel mixes up when she goes to the gym each day, depending on classes and when she wants to edit videos. But I pretty much go consistently between 10.30 and 11, Monday through Friday. So we, right when we get her down, I change into my gym clothes. I pack my bag because I shower at the gym, which I know is like a 50-50 shot, but I do it. Number one, because I do the sauna and I'm sweaty and disgusting. Number two, because we have her there for two hours and I, I don't see the sense in bringing her back here to hand her off and then shower. It's like a waste of time in my opinion. So yeah, so I gotta get my clothes for after. Today's weird, it's gonna be 78 today, but there's like a th between 30 and 40% chance of rain all day. And actually, I just learned this, that a 30% chance of rain is not, you have like a 30% chance of rain hitting you. It's 30% of your area is getting rain, which in my head, that, that means about the same thing. If a 30% chance of your area is getting hit with rain, that means you have a 30% chance of getting rain. You know, so I'm tired of people arguing, no, it means this, no, it means this. It just means you got a 30% chance, okay? Anyways, so I'm gonna go eat breakfast now too because I'm not hungry right at the beginning of the day, but I need something before the gym, so this is when I do it. All right, so for breakfast, pre-workout snack, Dave's Killer Bagel. No cream cheese because we're out of the regular, so I just got some butter and a Greek yogurt. Also, the outfit because I know, I know you're interested in it. Lululemon, oversized, like pocket tee or something like that. You know what this shirt's called? I don't know where she is. Anyways, it's got a pocket, it's a t-shirt. I know it's not meant for like working out, but it's really light and it, like it breathes well, so. And then for the shorts, five inch inseam pace breaker. Liner less, I can't do the liner. It's just too, it's too much going on down there. So there you go. By the way, it's about 9.20, 9.20 in the morning. Typical morning so far, very typical. Yeah, from 9 to 9.45, 9, 10 maybe. Um, get her up, get her fed, get out the door. So this nap is basically spent getting ready for the gym, eating, getting her ready for the gym. And if I can squeeze in something else, I try to, but typically not. Hey, good morning. 9.45, just right on time. Lou, come on, let's eat some breakfast. Eat some food and then go see your friends at Child Care Center. Lou, Lou, come on. The 10, 10, almost, and we're out the door. Got her fed, got her changed, like her diaper changed, then got her clothes changed. Pretty quickly today, actually, went quick. And uh, yeah, we're off. Her scheduled time doesn't start until 10.30, and she's allowed to stay at the childcare center for two hours. We normally cut it short, like an hour 40. Um, sorry, there's something weird going on outside. But, um, so we may have to, I mean, usually they'll let us check her in like five minutes early, but we'll see who's there today. Come on over. <laughs> That's what. Nice. What's up? Logan. It's Mama and Logan. Good job, guys. Okay, so oh we- Oh gosh, it's really leaking. These suck. Sorry. So we are back from the gym. It is 1240. Um, nice gym day. Uh, chest, basketball first for like 10, 12 minutes. Get the heart rate up, get a little cardio. Um, chest, and then sauna, and then quick <laughs> steam room, and then- and then we got her, and then we went to Chipotle on the way home because this is cheaper than a protein shake, and it, it's way better. Have you tried the new chicken al pastor yet? 
pretty good. If they kept it around forever, I think I'd still pick the regular chicken over it. Maybe do half and half like I did here. <clears throat> but it's good. So next up, we're gonna feed her. She's probably gonna be ready to go on for a nap in the next 45 minutes. Then yeah, we're doing burgers tonight. So we gotta go to the grocery store. Alright. We're gonna have a super poo after this. Mm. Mm -hmm. The chickpea. Okay, here we are again. I feel like we've been at this table a lot today. <laughs> we are um, at this table. We are. We a spend lot. a lot of time at this table. Um, you love to eat, which it's, is so good. It's like 2.45, 2.40. Uh, I ended up doing contact now with her because it's been a few days and I wanted to. He loves his contact. I do love so my good. contact naps. Yeah. Um, while I was napping, or while she was napping, I posted on Instagram it is on the, the story. It is perfect time to get stuff on your phone done, seeing as though she's mobile now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Billy, it's like the only time you can. And then post on the story and then answer some DMs and then hung out for a bit. So yeah, we need to go to the store, don't we? We need to get some ground beef so we can make burgers. You want to have a tiny burger? We could use this as a bun for a tiny burger. You make a tiny mini the, pancake, like a droplets. What do you mean? Just the little, little I'm rolls? I'm talking about tiny burger. Um, like something she could fit. I don't know. She Anyways, could fully hold. I don't know. probably not going to do that. But we do need to go to the store. You want to go to Costco? Yeah, we're we going to get Costco. more fruit. I Are you coming? She likes fruit. So I guess I could get. Should I get? Can't get stuff for my dad there. Why? I could. Hey. I think so. I should have made a fancy drink to show off my skills. Maybe after this, maybe I'll make a decaf one after this. Cause it is fun. So, day in the life, another update. This is the thing. It's always, things are changing. You know, you gotta be willing and able to adapt. So we get some Miss Rachel going for a second. So we were originally planning on going to Costco, coming back, making dinner. Cause it's, you know, four o'clock. So spend an hour or so making, eating dinner, play for a little bit, and then nap, or uh, bath time. Um, what's up, doggy? And then bedtime. So Kelly's dad, um, she's surprising. Kelly's wanted to surprise her dad um, with you know groceries and cleaning the house and do this stuff for him. She thought he was gonna be home tomorrow, but he's actually coming home tonight. So she just left to go do that. So no point in making burgers anymore because she's gonna be gone for a couple hours. And I don't, I don't wanna do it by myself. So I'm just gonna have some leftovers, make some concoction up, we'll see what we can come up with. And then, yeah, this is it. We, we try to do as little screen time as possible, but that doesn't mean zero. So, I mean, She's a very active baby, and there are times when we just need to do something, so we need to distract her for a little bit. Um, maybe like 20 to 30 minutes a day-ish, something like that. There are days when there's zero, and there are days when there's an hour. Typically never more than an hour. That'd be like a tough day. So anyways, that's it. So I'm not gonna be able to get too much more work done today. I'll probably be able to answer some comments and some DMs and stuff now, but, uh, I'm gonna do some work after she goes to bed, which is typically the time when I really am able to do some work, like planning for the future and all that good stuff. So, I feel like this this vlog, first of all, that was not, it's not even. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. I feel like this vlog is very boring. But that's our life, it's very boring right now. So, you, you guys wanted it. All right, the girl is still distracted, which is amazing news. I put her on her chair, gave her some Cheetos, and now she's watching this Rachel scene because I can make dinner. So here's what I'm doing. We don't have too much in terms of like food that's almost ready to go. Like we have a bunch of raw stuff, but I don't feel like taking an hour to cook for myself. So I got some chicken that I air fried yesterday. Hey. Um, and then we just bought these at Costco because they looked good. I love Mexican street corn. And so, hell yeah. So it comes in a big bag with like little sauce pellets. They kind of look like a, uh, what's the, the sauce starter? But, be, boy, boy. It can be liquid or like a little pellet that you put in to make soup with. 
Anyways, um, so corn's in there. I'm gonna cook that, and then just add some chicken. And there you have it. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I thought about just doing chicken and rice, but I had chipotle for lunch, which is chicken and rice, so I didn't want to do that. Um, I have some potatoes, but I didn't want potatoes. These, let's see the macros on this. Seems like there's about two servings per packet. That's what a packet looks like. Maybe even three. Yeah, it looks like there's there's 14 servings per container, which I assume means per thing. And there's four bags. What's the math on that? Three and a half servings per, per, per thing? Yeah, three and a half. So that would make this 180 times three is what? 540, 540 plus a half of that, which is 90, so six, about 600 and some calories for what, what's in skillet right now. I probably won't eat all of it, there's a lot. So, I don't know, should I pour, take the corn out to heat, go heat the chicken up afterwards? I should eat the chicken, it really doesn't matter. I don't feel like, I'm not, I'm definitely not eating 600 calories worth of corn. So probably half, here's what I'll do, I'll dump half out into a, one of these, and then I will uh, add the chicken in so they can all heat and combine together and not eat that. And then maybe I'll drink some greens, because, yikes. Sorry about that here, let me turn this. One sec. All right, here's the finished product. Not bad. I mean, it smells good. I haven't tasted it yet. Threw a little cilantro on top, like fresh cilantro. Chopped cilantro. And uh, I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully she gives me like 10 minutes to eat this, or five even, and then we'll go upstairs and play. Yeah, we'll go upstairs and play. We have hit bath time, haven't we? She's getting irritable. I'm getting irritable. Um, it is almost 5.30, which is pretty, on time with her schedule right now. So we're gonna take a quick bath, then we're gonna go upstairs, we're gonna have a bottle. Buy you in the bedroom, yeah. And then we're gonna read, play, and then bedtime, probably around 6.30ish. She's fascinated. So fun story, this is the the uh, bedroom in our master bedroom, or the bathroom in our master bedroom, so the master bath, I guess you'd call it. And uh, we had the cat's food in here for a while because we had to keep it away from the dog and this is the only place we could remember, or we could figure out to keep it. So, I don't know where I was going with this. Oh yeah, so we had the cat's food in here for a while, but the carpet cleaners came and finally cleaned the carpet, and we've been wanting to get the litter out of the upstairs bathroom for a while and put it down in our basement, but we didn't have cat doors, and we just weren't ready to move it. So, finally made the decision to move the litter pants down to our basement basement, like the unfinished basement. We got these little things on Amazon that keep the doors slightly open so Lulu can't get down, they can get through. So, we did that, and we've moved pants before, house to house, and they've never had a problem. But, they've had a problem. Uh, one of the cats decided to poop right there. So I came in here like a minute ago, I'm like, it smells kinda weird. Ah, because the cat pooped. The cat pooped, didn't they? Yeah, so we gotta clean that up, because she wants it. <laughs> She's been like trying to get out of my arms to go get the poop. So, we'll check in later. Guys, hang, stop. Madness. Guys, hey, Lulu, can you go? Can you get out of here, please? So you don't eat this poop? Layla, what are you doing? Food's not up there anymore. This is, this is wild. Dog's right here. Causing, I'm just gonna keep the camera rolling. This tile in here, and they decide to go right on the rug. Oh, that's stinky. This is gonna be washed. I thought it was. I thought it was like a solid, like solid, but no, there was wetness on it. So nice. Typical thing about this baby is that she cannot sit still. So whenever you're holding her, she's squirming. Arching her back, arching her neck, doing all this jazz. She can't sit still. It makes it difficult. Okay. Ready? Oh. Hey. Say go dad. Ah. Go dad. That was rough, huh? <laughs>
Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. You gotta take your hand out of the hole for the ball to fit in. You know what I'm saying? You try again. Oh gosh, sorry. You try again. Oh, in your mouth? Yeah, it doesn't taste good. It's wood. Come on, you got it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get it in there. Get it in there. What? I know, texted me. You say what? Did you say? Did he get home yet? Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Almost seven. Emmy just went to bed. I forgot her monitor. She just went to bed. So now we're gonna relax for a bit. Watch the new episode of Ted Lasso that came out yesterday. I have a couple snacks, always. And uh, yeah, and then afterwards, I plan on doing some work. I feel like I look disheveled, but I'm fine. Guys, the hairline's starting to recede a little bit. Ugh. Anyways, um, so that's that's the day. It is now 9.04. Watch an episode of Ted Lasso. We hung out for a bit, just on our phones, hanging out. And then I went upstairs and started doing a little work and how kind of started watching some, I think it was David Spade special on Netflix, but I went upstairs and started doing some work. And then she's, so she went up to pump, so I came back down here because my office is right on the, uh, like, through the front of my house. If I have the lights on, it's dark outside, you can see, literally see me. I don't like putting the blinds down. I just feel claustrophobic almost. Not really, but, like, I just feel way smaller. So came back down here to finish up the night. Um, what am I working on, you asked? Oh, I'll tell you. Um, so as you guys know, we have a candy company called Worth It Candy, which we sell um, these candies, these chewy, soft, fruity bits of joy. And um, yeah, no, it's going good. Sure, yeah, it's going good. Thanks for asking. What's going on with the light? I don't like how this thing adjusts to light. Like if I go farther away, it turns the light off. It's weird. Um, anyways, so yes, uh, we have that. And I've been working on trying to get it into the hands of more people. So here's what I'm thinking about doing, okay? A month ago, maybe a little over a month ago now, I was experimenting with Facebook ads. Just cuz, you know, it's a new thing I wanted to try. It's fairly inexpensive. You can make it as expensive as you want to make it, but for me it was fairly inexpensive. And I just wanted to test a carousel ad, which is just pictures that pop up on your feed. You see them all the time. Most of the time, you probably just scroll right by because you immediately know by the format of it, it's an ad, so you just keep scrolling, which I wanted to test, see if anyone would buy. So, tested it. In total, I think I spent less than $500, much less than $500. I'm trying to think if it was, I think it was like $375 in total um, for like two and a half weeks, I want to say. So like, less four around four hundred bucks in three weeks. Um, just this carousel ad. I had I had a variety of pictures that you could see through. I think there was like ten of them. Um, ones that showed the candy really up close, and uh, ones that showed the bags, and ones that showed like lifestyle, like just pictures that we've taken um, that show everyday life. I don't like this. Is there anything I can do? No, all the lights are on except for these two. I don't think that would help though. Anyways, um, so we did that, and, like, I don't know if we made a single sale. Like, there was, like, 40 people who added to their cart, but I don't think, I don't think there was one full conversion to a sale. 
I'm not surprised. I thought there would be a couple, at least. I knew the conversion would, would be super low, but I thought there would at least be like one or two people who bought. And again, I, I realized this is minimal effort because I just wanted to test it out. Um, so obviously it didn't work, but I do still think there's potential. So what I want to do now, and this the reason why I'm doing this is because we've I've done some math and some you know work on budgeting on a few different options for marketing, and I think this has the highest potential return on our investment. You know, influencers I thought was going to be really strong. It's not. Like a couple nights ago, I reached out to like 20 people and not one single response back if they want to try the candy. Um, it is what it is. We got I got people emailing me every day though saying, hey, let's partner. And I asked for their rates because I know that's coming. They're not going to reach out to me with 500,000 followers and say, Oh, well, I'll just I'll do it for free. No, it's like three grand for a post, um, six hundred bucks or five hundred bucks for one story post. Like, excuse me. And so they're like, at first I was like, okay, I get it, but I actually went on to their and went on to their Instagram. One of one person in particular, I can't remember their name. They had three hundred thousand followers. At their engagement was like crazy low. Like their reels had like less than 10,000 views. With 300,000 followers, that's pretty bad engagement. And the reason why is because every post that they do is an ad for something. Like who I, who really wants to follow someone that's every single post is an ad? I mean, obviously, if you're following a, a, a business, most of the time they're going to be posting ads. But that's different than just a regular influencer posting paid advertisements every time. Um, the return on that's not high. If I pay them two grand for a post, I would need a shit ton of orders from that, and there's no possible way. Like if their if the if their average post is getting like 500 likes, you know, you've got to think if it if someone likes a post about our candy, you know, maybe way less than 10 percent of those people would buy. So if they're 500 posts, you're counting on 50 50 orders at the very most, at the very most. And that's not making my two grand back. So, anyway, sorry for that rant. But here's what I want to do. I want to do a video advertisement for the candy. Um, I, I not only do I want to do an advertisement for it and post it on Facebook and maybe even Instagram or whatever, but I want to add it to our website. So one, I've been doing a lot of research on conversions um, because our website converts fairly well. Not, not amazing, but not not bad by any means. But I still think there's more to be had. I think our conversion rate can be higher. And one um, video I saw that a guy who specializes in digital marketing and advertisement said, videos are becoming increasingly more important. So, especially on the product page and the landing page. So what I want to do. So here, here's here's what's going through my mind. If I post, if I post an ad, like the carousel ad, I got a bunch of ads to cart, and I got a bunch of people to click on the ad, but no one bought. If I can at least provide them a video with evidence that this candy is great and you're gonna like this candy, that may be more incentive to buy. I think I, I at least want to try it. Number one, we have camera equipment here, and so we don't have a huge budget, but I want to see if we can do it on our own. So that's what I'm working on tonight is figuring out best ways to do lighting, um, camera work. Ten minutes. Gosh, this video's going to be long. Anyways. Yeah. So that's the plan. See what I can come up with today. Hopefully film it in the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm going to try to edit it myself even. Edit it myself. I'm going to try to learn all this stuff so I can be more valuable to not only worth it, but to Kelly too. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Any ideas, let me know down below if, the, if you have any uh, marketing ideas, things I should do. My dad keeps telling me, because, uh, okay, so if you don't know, we're big Ohio State fans. Kelly and I both went to Ohio State. We we live in Columbus, Ohio, which is the home of the Buckeyes. So uh, my dad's like, you gotta get in Ohio State. You gotta get in Ohio State. 
I don't know if he realizes how hard that would be. Ohio State is massive. It's one of the biggest, it's like one of the biggest schools, if not the biggest school in the country, um, like attendance wise. So just that, and it's, it's just massive. Like it's massive. I don't even know where I'd go. Like you go to athletics, like, you know they have contracts with all of the biggest companies out there. Like Coke, number one, obviously. Um, I'm sure the conglomerate you know, Coke owns all kinds of beverage companies. Um, you know, actually, I don't know if they own snack companies like Pepsi does. Pepsi, if you didn't know, Pepsi's gigantic. They own all kinds of snacks and, and different beverages and stuff. Looked into it a little bit, but I haven't taken it that far. I'm going to wait to do that until we have more flavors, which is soon. Um, but yeah. So yeah, let me know if you have any ideas. We'll see if we can get a video, a little advertisement video out in the next few weeks. I don't know if Kelly believes in my idea or not. She's kind of hesitant. She's like, if we do it, it's got to be like really good. And I was like, I know it's got to be good. When she says that, she means, if we do it, it's got to be really good. I don't think you can do it. <laughs> Maybe not. Kelly, write on the screen right here what you meant by that. Okay. Um, yeah, it's nine. I hope, I hope I can feel good about what I've done today by 11. If not, I'm either going to stay up a little bit later or just go to bed feeling like I could have done more, which isn't a great feeling, but it is what it is. We had, it was an interesting day. You know, normally I have more time to do work during the day and Kelly takes the baby more, especially in the second half of the day. But with what's going on, with what she wanted to do for her dad, we had to adjust, which is a-okay with me. Um, I had a great time with the, the girl today. Everything went smoothly. Well, as smoothly as it could have gone, right? So, anyways, I'm rambling now. This part alone is 13 and a half minutes. The video's gotta be, like what I filmed today has gotta be like 40 minutes, I feel like. But I guess Kelly will find